Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and I want to share with you guys a broken 4-star character that really trivializes the early game content. Now this video is recorded during the closed beta test tool, and I really hope that Hoyoverse doesn't nerf her upon her initial release. Now Herta is gotten for free after progressing through the main story, and her 4-star light cone can be obtained for free too just by clearing the main story quest. So let's quickly talk about her kit for a bit and you'll start to see why she can be abused especially to clear the early game content. Overall, she's mainly an AoE damage dealer and generally struggles with single target or ice type enemies since she's of the ice element. Now what makes her extremely broken is her passive that allows her to attack all enemies if one of your characters deal damage to reduce the enemy HP below 50%. Now this includes herself too. Let's just watch a quick clip now to show this example. What's even more broken is that if multiple enemies fall below this 50% line at the same time, her spins increase in number and can do incredible DPS outside her turn order. やれやれ。命の重みを味わいに。くるくるっと。即戦即決で行こう。いや。くるくるっと。何見てるのえ私が誰だか知ってるのこんな大きなダイヤモンド見たことないでしょ。あげるね。全ては星々の星の秘密を求める鍵よ開拓者たちに真なる祝福を始めようかくらえくるくるっとルールは破るためにある待ってないお客さんね星の祝福をあなたに私が誰だか知ってるのこんな大きなダイヤモンド見たことないでしょあげるねくるくるっと<笑> What this means is that you can stack attack percentage or ice elemental damage bonuses on her and let her move very slow and let your other characters do the damage to prop her passive. I've been using this strategy from the beginning and found that it trivializes most early game content and lets you get to the mid to late game much quicker which I find is much more efficient to spend the Trial Blaze power, which is the equivalent of Resin in Genshin and Stamina in Honkai Impact. And the biggest argument I hear against Herta is that she is weak to bosses. While this is true, most content in the story and farming thus far all have some sort of AoE requirement, and she speeds up the AoE components so quickly. She can be swapped out during boss fights for a better single target DPS, but I still find this free-to-play team of main character, Asta, Herta, and Natasha very effective. Now let me explain why. So Asta is fire and can break most enemies which are resistant to ice, while giving speed up and attack buffs to the team which Herta can use really well. Natasha provides sustain and is insanely useful for autoplay or harder battles since she acts as the party's healer. MC does single target physical damage nuke and is flexible with AoE damage too to prop Herta's skills quickly. A combination of these four units allowed me to clear most of the content 
very effectively, and they are all free to play and can be obtained just by progressing the story. As of CBT2 of course. Hopefully MiHoYo doesn't nerf this strategy moving forward, but this really allows you to save a lot of resources by building characters like Asta and Natasha which can fit into most rosters, being supportive in nature. While also abusing Herta's insane DPS to clear any of the DPS checks or speed up your farming and progress by an insane amount. I'll be doing more guides like this in the days to come, leading up to the official launch. Subscribe if you like such straight to the point Honkai Star Rail content. Cheers and EOD Gamer signing off. すべては星々の ためにある。<笑> ほんの気持ちよ。気にしないで。助けても何も出ないわよ。重傷ね。<笑>